Look who Mara and I found uh, walking around on the beach. Hey boys! Hey, how's it going? Oh, we're so happy to be here. <laughs> you guys had a safe trip, I assume? Yes. Yeah, just a long drive. Eric? You know. Hi. How you doing? Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. So this is your big, uh, it's five ton, right? Yep, five ton, 66. Uh-huh. It's a beaut. Yep. Got the NHC 250 Cummins in it, manual tranny and all that, high low. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. When I need it, it's fun. And other than that, it's fun to just drive around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a speed demon, but fun. Oh no, yeah, 55, that's about it. <laughs> Downhill the tailwheel. Yeah, the wrecker isn't a speed demon either. <laughs> well, I need to check this thing out. Yeah. I need, I need to get a boom like that on the old uh, Nodwells, what I need. Wanted a hydraulic bowl. Hey. And then uh, I found a single line one, which is a little bit lighter than the double line one. Yeah, just weight wise. The moisture. The, the, the pins corrode. Oh, yeah. So I had to repin that. Uh huh. And. Uh, He, uh, he wired me up a switch for inside the cab. Yeah, that so we got sense. an arm and an arm switch, you know, to turn it power on to it and then uh, in and out. So we, uh, Warren fixed me up with some of their industrial line winches. Uh huh. So yep. I would, if you need more winches or whatever, take it away. Um, those folks at Warren, they will work with you good. They were, they treated me really well. Did they? Um, yeah, yeah, they did. They've got me a 20,000. Uh, long drum with 245 feet and 9 16 8 inch cable coming for that. For that, five yeah. ton, all hydraulic and yeah. Um, 12. I mean, they just they got me everything I needed for both the snow cats and yeah, uh, all that stuff. That's so, cool. You, this morning having breakfast and uh, uh, one missed the uh, pulled in the wrong driveway mm, up got here. Got stuck. Uh, right off the bat. Big big pusher with a tri axle and closed <laughs> trailer on it and. Uh, he thought he was going to pull it out with his pickup, and I said, well, I, I, I'll go get the record. We'll oh, see yeah, what yeah. we can do. And be honest with you, uh, I was on dry pavement, and uh, we still couldn't quite do it. We left some rubber on the pavement. Oh, yeah, I'll imagine. So we grabbed uh, we grabbed my four-wheel drive top kick over there. I was going to go out and go check that out, too. I, yeah, let's we, walk run, over. we run them on the rollbacks all the time. And Casey can't out. stop working. Yeah, Keeps pulling to. out that phone. Everybody's <laughs> dinging him. I had to forward it to my dispatcher so I can talk for five minutes. But, <laughs> it's, so, well, but anyway, cool. yeah, that's it. And, you know, again, we don't know exactly what we're going to do with it other than just a trailer hauler, but we'll oh, see. Yeah. You know. Well, we uh, we use the heck out of our rollback. Ours has got 276,000 miles on the one that I'm in, got in Hurricane right now, and it's been, it's been phenomenal. No, yeah. no real issues to speak of, so... That's great. Yeah, we had a motorhome come down in here last year. Well, a couple different ones stuck last year. One of them went clear down in the mud uh -huh. during the UTV takeover, and we oh, ended sure. up. Oh, sure, that was. I, I saw the video on that where we, you, yeah, you uh, uh, ended up using the cat. Oh, did you? Cat on it to oh. get it out. So wow. We have so Wheeler Machinery sends uh, cat equipment over every year to build the ramps and do all sure. that stuff. Yep. So we yep. have those at our disposal. So okay. it's nice to. I thought you pulled one out with the. Uh, uh, what's five times? I did, yeah. That was a, okay. uh, I think that was Trail Hero last year. Really. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, it's it. Uh, when that thing puts the grunt down, it it really does, it does pull. It's does a amazing. good job. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so next week we've got the UTV takeover. It starts ah. on I think Wednesday. On Wednesday. Okay. And uh, so we're the official sponsor for that this year, and we're doing. They actually camp on the beach like they do at Glamis. Uh huh. And all down along there, Pismo and all that stuff. Sure. They're always on the beach, and so. If you're pulling these big triple axle dual dual wheel Motor. motorhomes and trucks like this with big trailers on them down through the sand and you have to get them right in their you know their, in their spot, spot yeah. and it's it's a lot of fun just huh. one right after another so, yeah but Heck of a deal. this will all be full well it was fun to meet up with Casey and swap stories for a little bit but both of us had places to be so we kind of had to cut the meeting short but I do have something else I want to share with you while I was uh, going through the footage on this hard drive and doing some editing, I ran across a couple of pictures that looked kind of familiar, but I knew I hadn't been there. So let me explain that a little bit. On our last day there, seat cover, Abby, myself, and Gene 
ran to Las Vegas to meet a couple of people and uh, do some uh, souvenir shopping. While we were gone, apparently the rest of the team behind my back decided to go out to the shoot. Yeah, you drive it. Don't let it pull you. Drive it. Keep going. feel a little bit cheated. I wanted to go see the shoot too and whether or not I would have tried to climb it with the wrecker I'm not real sure. I'd have to see it first. But I still feel kind of cheated. I would have liked to at least seen it. But I guess that means we'll have to go back someday so I can check out the shoot. Hey guys, Sea Cover here. We had such a wonderful time here at beautiful Sand Hollow. But we're gonna have to go home. Don't forget to click, like, and subscribe to the BSF Recovery Team. And up next is our terrifying journey all the way home. Wow. Oh, we got somebody fish killed back there. Any other 